Hey everyone, it's Heath from Home Zone Wheels and we are back at Clayton Homes in Anniston, Alabama today and we are going to be doing a tour of the Farmhouse Breeze. I'm really excited about this one because this is over 2,000 square foot and it's huge inside. Beautiful home, absolutely beautiful and at a very affordable price. So let's go on in and take a look. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to go ahead and do that. Hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell icon. That way you get notified every time we release a new video. And wow, look at that as soon as you come in. And I'll tell you guys, I've already done a real quick walkthrough of this house just before we started filming. And it's like they listened to a lot of the things you guys were talking about that you wanted and didn't want in a home. And they put it in here. They put the stuff that you want, took away the stuff you didn't want. All right. So one of the things that a lot of people don't like is they don't like having their dining area not broken up a little bit. Well, you've got a little wall that kind of separates out this dining area. It's back to your left as soon as you turn in. And so it's a little bit separate, but not cramped in. So I really like that. I'm just going to scan through here real fast. And this is your living room area. Plenty of space there for a big TV. You guys know we like our big TVs. You've got your vinyl uh, flooring here that looks like hardwood. And your nice island. I like that uh, where you can put your decorative plates there. That's a nice touch. See that in a lot of the farmhouse uh, stick built homes. That's a nice little little touch they added in there. We're gonna just walk on around. You got your two windows over your sink and they listen. You can't open those windows. They both have latches where you can open them up. Now you guys said you like that. Got your dishwasher there beside your sink. And you've even got more storage in your island here. Let's open one of those up. Yeah, it's really deep. Almost elbow deep on me, so. You got space underneath there where you could slide your uh, stools. You could get two stools there too, if you wanted to eat at the bar or the island. And check this out, this barn door here by the refrigerator. I really like what they did here. Check this out. Roll that open and there is your pantry. Now it's got wire shelving. You could upgrade that if you wanted to, but it's closed most of the time. I'd probably just leave it like it is. You could get a good many canned goods there. And you've got space on the floor as well. All right, so let's go back and look at the guest rooms here. This is a big house, got a lot of bedrooms. So we're gonna take a look at all the guest stuff first. Then we're gonna head back over and check out the master. You got your Ecobee where you can control that with your smartphone. We're gonna just duck in the laundry closet area here. I say laundry closet, it's huge. You got plenty of space, I guess for extra towels, uh, maybe more storage for, I don't know, whatever you want to put in there, canned goods. And when you come in here, there is a place for a good size deep freeze. I really like to see that. And I know a lot of you guys comment on that as well. And then we turn back here. It's got a little place for your coats, your, uh, all your boots and that sort of thing. Shoes, you can put those under there. And then we come back to your back door and you've got the place for the washer and dryer. A little counter space in between there and shelving above. All right, so let's go back into the hall and we're gonna step across to the guest restroom. And there is your sinks. Got dual sinks in the guest bedroom, or guest bathroom, I should say. 
you got your cam lighting above. And you've got your toilet area. And you're not cramped in. That's a lot of space between there and there. It's about, probably hard to tell by camera, but it's about two and a half, three feet uh, to the left of that toilet before you get to a wall. You've got your standard shower here. Or bathtub shower combo. And now we're going to go back out and check out some of these bedrooms and living or den area. All right, so you come to the den area after you come down the hall. It's off to the side. I think that would break up a lot of the sound and stuff. You have the TV going here. And you've got a coat closet in here inside the den. That's kind of neat. I know some of you guys were asking about coat closets and wondering why nobody put coat closets in homes anymore. Well, here you go. This is for you. All right, so now we're going to come out of the den, back down through the hallway, and then you're met with a door to the right, a door to the left, and a door to the center. All of these are bedrooms. Here's your three guest rooms here. And we just went to the one on the right. And they all have walk-in closets, I believe. Oh, this one does. It's got the wire racking in it. Canned lighting inside here. And we're just gonna just go through these others pretty quick, because I think they're about the same. So, yeah, they look very, very similar in size. Now this one has a little bit smaller closet, it looks like. But let's check out this third bedroom here. And it's very similar as well. Now this one has a walk-in closet. So two of the guest rooms have walk-in closets. One of them has just a regular closet. So there you go. Well, let's go down and look at the master bedroom. I have to remember where I went to in this thing. You just about turn around and get lost in here. All right. So we're coming through to the master bedroom now. And you've got two windows on either side. Vents are in the floor on either wall. And we've got the walk-in closet here as well. And of course, this is the master closet. So it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the others. It does have the wire shelving. All right, so now let's go in and see the master bath. When you come in, the first thing you see to the left is the shower. And it's got a bench for you ladies that like to to sit down and uh, shave your legs. Got you covered. Actually got two of them there. And if you're in the mood for a bath, it's got a good size uh, bathtub here. And it does have a window in here. It is frosted glass though. So nobody can see through. And of course you've got your two sinks. And plenty of storage there. Now this little area here, just to the left of the sinks, I imagine you could put some sort of a uh, little small, like a makeup mirror or bench or something like that, right in that area if you wanted. Or maybe laundry hampers uh, could go there as well. And back as you go out, you'll see the toilet tucked away. Not really a closet because it's not closed in, but it's separated a little bit. And it's right there. All right, so now let's go and see how much this house is. As we said, it's over 2,000 square foot. And it's got four bedrooms in it. And two baths. <clears throat> it is $134,270 with these options here that are included. If you want just the house only, $119,360. And it is the farmhouse breeze. 
2,016 square feet, and there's the model number, and it's at Clayton Homes in Anniston, Alabama. Now, these, these prices are at the time of filming, so just be aware of that, and you'll have to talk to those guys at Clayton Homes about any of your financing that you want to talk about. But we are headed over to look at the next home, and we would like to invite you to take a tour with us. All you got to do is click in the right-hand corner on one of the next video boxes and go with us. We'll meet you over there.